down to basically where Tristan's group are now. Okay. And that's going to be your right hand side. Bring the five, the group of five, five down, down to meet the, uh, Tristan's legion who's down the front. With Ollie busy micromanaging his troops, Caesar grabs the initiative. His contempt for Pompey was widely known, and it appears he's taken the same dislike to Ollie. Somebody's moving there. Oh. And they look like Caesarian forces to me. Let's have a look at this. Caesar's moving forward. Oh, yeah. The Caesarian forces are marching. Caesar's in issue. very good order. In very good order. They're closing the gap. Caesar's forcing the issue. The thing that you've always got to keep in mind is that whoever seizes the initiative is going to win this one. Absolutely. Can you turn right and have a look at the enemy? Yeah. Right, oh, they're coming oh, forward, aren't they? They're coming forward, aren't they? Right, go on, just, yeah. just, zoom, just go up, can you? They're moving forward. Can you go up from a... So they're, atta they're attacking us, right, okay. With the greatest general in history looking to pick a fight, the team's calmness reflects either nerves of steel or deep denial. Are you in position yet? Um, no, we're not. I don't think we're going to have time to just move the men on foot. Okay. What, sir? Right, well, okay, right. Who are those people moving now? On, on, That's on me. The I'm moving in front of the cavalry because okay, I've just got and have the cavalry. cavalry. So if you get them, Tristan, you're two on the left that are staying rep? still, okay? Yeah. Get them moving over to the left hand side. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't look, at the moment, I find myself to go left right. flank or yeah. whatever flank. Caesar's advance reveals the discipline in his army. They never lose formation. But Pompey's army is another story in time. Right, so they're spreading out. They're going to sacrifice their depth. They're going to try and plug these gaps by, by sacrificing their depth. And I think they're going to get hit very hard. Well, they're, they're, trying, they're trying to hold ground. While Ollie parades his men around the hilltop, Caesar pauses to rest his army. The future dictator of Rome now has a ringside seat for the confused and exhausting spectacle being conducted on the hill. So we've got infantry at the front, yeah? Yeah, a lot of cavalry behind. cavalry to the, to, the, to the left. So okay. that, that's like the main bulk of our defence there. If we can spread out... Can, can you I spread think we need out to start infantry? spreading, yeah. We need to start spreading them okay, out. Okay, Yeah. Are you in charge of these infantry at the right here? Uh, yeah. I want you to spread them out into like lines of like four deep. Look at these, these gaps here. Look how spread they are. Like they're, 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 they're very... There is a lot of air between huge amounts of agency. His great strength was mass. And he sacrificed mass, he's dispersed it. Are we almost there? Yeah, almost, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of cavalry just yeah. sitting there, isn't there? Yeah. If you bring, if you, Tristan, if you, Becky, if you're, you, you've got to, can you bring the cavalry right behind these people that you're spreading out? Spread those out. Yeah, it's, it's mine, I'm doing it. Alarmingly, the generals still think Becky controls the cavalry. But their tactical mistakes are even worse. They've given up the highest ground, they've dispersed their army too far apart, and they're about to fight a battle without a clear command structure in place. You want them to bring them forward, yeah? Bring them forward, yeah. Have one on the left-hand side of them and one on the right-hand side. Do that, do that now really quick because they're coming up. Caesar knew that he had to continually grab the initiative, force the enemy to react to Julius Caesar. And that's exactly what he's done here. Absolutely. Exactly what those guys are doing. They're spreading, spreading out. And so you said four lines deep. Yeah. Now, do you see how they're deploying them here? That they're losing that depth. That's right. They're streaming down the hill now. They were going to stay put and they're cross, crossing their own just, front. Just, just got impatient. They're disintegrating. Look at the way they're disintegrating. Victims to the slaughter. <laughs> Why are they marching down that hill? Does this bear any relation to the map? No. Right, sure, I'll do the map back here. Right. What about the enemy? Do you know what they're doing? It looks like they're coming straight down, straight, straight down the middle towards us. Can we go and have a closer look? Quite good for a lieutenant, isn't he? Um, well, yeah, but I, I don't think, I don't think, we can have a look, yeah, but I mean, we haven't got ourselves organised yet, so. You want to do that first? Yeah, that's more important, yeah. Once again, Tristan is thinking more tactically than the generals, but his suggestion to scout out the enemy advance is dismissed. It's a bad call and a missed opportunity. If the team knew how Caesar's army was deploying, they could make strategic changes to their own deployment. So wait, we've got cavalry either side, yeah? This is going to be our front line of attack. So we've got four lines of four lines of attack, yeah? Yeah. And two cavalry either yeah, stop, side. Stop the cavalry there, Tristan. Where, where are your archers? My archers is just uh, over, over there. Okay, can you take them, can you take them more, more forward? Because they need to be in a more forward position. Ruth tries to map out the bigger picture. 
but the best view in the house is Caesar's. From the battlefield, he watches the chaos on the hill. As the team gives up more of the high ground, Caesar is convinced that the time is ripe for battle. Oh guys, we're completely exposed on the far left-hand side. There's nothing, there's no defence. The shambolic deployment gives Caesar a bold idea. Seeing how spread out the team's army is, Caesar leaves the protection of the river to take his chances hitting Pompey head on. The move exposes his weak left flank. But Caesar is banking on the team not being sharp enough to execute a flanking maneuver. And Caesar is leaving the river. Can they fight without anchoring their left flank on the river? Caesar today has calculated um, that he dare do that. That's right. But actually he has made himself vulnerable now. And it's a tremendous opportunity for big, the team. Big, big gamble by today's Caesar. Yeah, it is an opportunity for the team. Will the team recognize that Caesar's new position provides them with a brief but critical window of opportunity? The chance to outflank the Red Army on its weakest side. They're coming, look, we've got... Oh, God, okay. Okay, can, can everyone be up like attack formation? For both leaders, this is end game of that civil war. It's, it, 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 it's a football game of a battle. It's the two teams are drawn up, each side, and who wins this carries off the cup. Caesar advances quickly, with a plan of attack in mind. He divides his front line into three distinct units, while a strong reserve falls back. As the Red Legions charge forward, Ollie gives his first battle command. I want, it, I want it to. I want the cavalry. To, I want the cavalry to come around and take out these people flanking like on the right hand side. Tristan, can move these cavalry over here. Ollie charges his horses into a front line of infantry. It's an order that breaks the team's defensive position and misuses a key troop, which is weak against infantry. Is this just a nervous reaction to Caesar's aggression, or have the generals forgotten everything learned in the record? Becky, yes. on the left-hand side, I want you to send cavalry and infantry. Infantry in first, Becky, on the left-hand side. Can you bring it like infantry on the left-hand side? Peter's cavalry. Ollie attempts a flanking manoeuvre on the left side, but he's having difficulty giving orders. He's still not sure who controls the troops, and it's resulting in mayhem on the battlefield. Are the archers firing onto the, uh, this cavalry? Are the archers firing? Oh, my goodness. Is it happening? No, 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 watch this. That's a whole legion all strung out across the field, yeah. behind another legion all strung up there. Look what they've got behind, hidden behind their legions, and that they're now bringing forward. Oh, they're the archers. Legions. Oh, they're bringing them forward. Oh, well, that's sensible. They're bringing their archers forward. So that's they're sensible, that's sensible, that's because they're, they're not going to shoot over and shoot their own men. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, maybe they are. With Caesar's weakest cohorts carving through the team's cavalry on the right, he gets down to work with his hardest units. Caesar hits the Blue Army on two further fronts. He sends an infantry charge into the middle of the team's front line. Moments later, a second attack is launched with javelins. Infantry starts hacking into infantry. We're, we're going to be stuck here, Ollie. Ollie, these guys are here. There's one infantry to all of that, so we're these guys are going to die out here. Where Caesar's engaging Pompey, he's pretty much engaging on equal terms, equal numbers. These masses are out here being idle. Tristan, let's, let's, let's get all these people on the left hand side. I said needed to come back forward towards the, the left hand side of the battle, but you didn't do that because like, they're still up there. So that means like they've got people on the left hand side coming. So everyone that's on the left needs to come into the battle area. Realizing that they've spread their forces too thinly, Ollie tries to get the troops from the far hill back into the battle. But they'll need time to cover the large distance between them and the fighting. Can you tell me exactly who everybody is now on the left hand side? Yeah. We should have cavalry there. Set of, set of archers. Do you know where everyone is? Is that what you want to yeah, say? Yeah, that's what... Ollie, Ollie, we need to... Yeah, archers and then leader of cohorts with the two rows there. While the generals try to get a grip on the battle, the troops on the field get on with the job. 
They are holding their own against Caesar's forces. But the generals could make their troops' lives easier, and possibly longer, by committing some of their vast reserves to battle. Come on. Okay, Becky, you're sending in those infantry into the main battle. There's a block, I don't know if you can Becky. see, but I'm going to bring them into closing on the enemy. No, bring those three in the middle into the front of the battle. On the top right, because we're, we're like that. The enemy are there, and we're there. We can surround them. Becky's classics degree may be paying off. She thinks they should try to wrap around Caesar's army. The lieutenants were wonderfully quiet during the setting up, and then as soon as the battle was engaged, everybody had an opinion. Everybody had an opinion, that's right. <laughs> you're, you're just listening to what you're saying. I know, I'm talking about something different, though. No, but that's, that, that's why it's not working.